it saved my life. No doubt, no question. I was on my way to death at, in a very big way. How I came to be homeless and living on the streets was a culmination of a lot of bad choices, circumstances, and bad luck in some instances. It was, it was hard. It was lonely at times, it, even though you're, you're surrounded by a lot of people, in your mind you've still got, you've still got a lot going on, you're still quite lonely in, in that respect. It was, it was probably difficult. We are really trying to minister to people who find themselves on the margins of society. Uh, that could be rough sleepers, that could be people struggling with mental health, alcohol and drug problems. Uh, so yeah, we're really trying to aim for those people who are the unseen, you know, the people who are ignored and unvalued, yeah, throughout London. When I really needed somewhere to go in the morning, we'd all go there and we'd sit down. Or it might have even been a Bible study on a Tuesday. That's where it all started. The first one I'd ever done, and it was the parable of the mustard seed. The way that he broke it down and opened it up, it just made, it made a lot of sense. We try and reach the whole person, so the depth of our ministry um, happens where we can share the eternal promises of God that are fulfilled through Jesus Christ. All this, all this time through my life, and the difficulties that I'd had, I've now got someone that's standing there telling me, like, I'm, I'm there with you. My mate and I, we came out of the gym yesterday, and he said to me, um, he said, do you still feel God? I said, what we have to remember is that, like, God is always there. I said, it's us that removes ourselves from, the, from him. And I said, as long as you always keep that in your mind, um, everything will be all right in the end. To love someone who loves me unconditionally is, is, is easy, even though we still don't get that right. He's just waiting, it's the prodigal son. That love doesn't change from him. If I'm out and about and I see somebody who's homeless or appears to be homeless. My first instinct is to, is to see what can I do. I'll sit down and have a chat with them, see what, what, do, they, what do they need. Nine times out of 10, you'll realize that people out there, they just want to sit down and have a chat with someone. They just want, they just want to be noticed. Yeah, they, 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 they don't want to feel invisible to everyone. So for me personally, it's just about sitting down with them, having that little chat. knowing that the money that you will donate is gonna go so far and reach so many different people that it's just gonna be so helpful for, for those individuals. So to have people support out there to help make what has probably been a really bad time for that person really nice for such a small amount of time is, it's, you, can't, you, you can't put money on that. <laughs>